San Diego 6 News in the Morning. Your station for balanced news. All right, when you dig into your makeup bag, you probably don't even think about the dangers that might lurk there. Well, we're about to burst your bubble, because if you've kept stuff for a while, you may have a lot of bacteria lurking about. And Dr. Richard Chafu is a triple board certified plastic surgeon with La Jolla uh, Plastic Surgery, and we're going to talk to him. And uh, hey, thanks so much for coming sure, in. Really good to be here. You know, we were just talking in the break, and I had no idea. I'm doing so many things wrong. And I just asked Renee, too, if what her oldest lipstick was that she doesn't really use anymore, but uh, five years, five years old, okay? And Probably I have one that are more than a year old. That's a no-no. It's right? not a good idea. You know, what you'll find is a lot of people keep their makeups in, in plastic bags that are closed up in places like the bathroom, which is not a good place because there's way too much humidity and bacteria, or in the glove compartment of your car where it's too hot and it dries a lot of these products out prematurely. Oh, that is just so sad. <laughs> okay, so this is a big thing because so many people need to listen to this because, I mean, so many of us have makeup bags and brushes, and, and really, you're going to clear the air here. Yeah. What is the worst offenders? What is the worst things well, that you can keep for a long Linda, time? With, uh, with any emollients or water base, they've got a shelf life of three to six months because so your mascara, great, lipstick, lipstick, the eyeliners, those are products you need to get rid of in three to six months. Now, the powder makeup, you can keep around longer, you know, most people say between 6 to 12 months, but the keys are what are things to look for to let you know if you can't remember when you got the makeup, whether it's good or not. The big thing is, does it, does it have a smell to it? Is there a change in the color? Uh, does it feel differently? And most importantly, when you apply that product, does it feel different than it normally feels? Does it not working as well? And at, at that point, you need to get rid of it. I think I can really it. tell at 2 o'clock in the morning because I'm not really right. awake. But, okay, exactly. so that's, a, that's another story. So there's these little symbols and things that I just discovered, too, in reading about this uh, right. prior to the segment that uh, people can look for. I mean, sometimes they're not there because there's not really any specific guidelines. Exactly, and that's the, that's the unfortunate thing. You know, medical devices and drugs are regulated by the FDA, so they're required to have an expiration date. Now, some of the products, you'll see some of the private label things, for example, will have an expiration date on the bottom, but oftentimes if you buy something at a makeup counter and you look around, you look at the product packaging, there's no expiration date because it's not required. So most people say, you know, one season and throw it out. So if you have something and you're not sure, should I use it, you're better to toss it than to keep it. And I know it's hard with the, econ the economy away the way it is. And I remember once I went in and got sunscreen at a 99 cent store, right. slathered it on my twin brother when we were down in Mexico, and he got the worst burn because it was expired, and that's exactly. why it was cheaper. Right. So that was a no-no. It's definitely not <laughs> Time no-no. Okay, so loofah. Let's talk about the loofah and the sponges sure. that we use in the shower and also the makeup brushes. Right. So, so the loofahs that you use in, in the bath and the, and the sponges, of course, stay in the bathroom, which is the worst place. And there was the most humidity, and that's where the bacteria are. So probably about a month for those, and you want to get rid of them after about a month or change them out. The other thing is that some people are using some of these nylon gloves in mm -hmm. place of using a loofah, and then you can, you, know, you can throw those in the washing machine, or if they get contaminated or dirty after a while, you can just toss them. They're not particularly expensive. But the big important thing is, in addition to making sure that your makeup is not that old, you want to make sure that you clean your brushes properly. And it's a simple thing to do, a little glass bowl. You can throw in, um, you know, a little hand sanitizer, a baby shampoo, even some dishwashing some and some water. Get it soapy and suds and just dump those in there. Okay. And everyone out there who's listening, that means about once a week. About once a week. To clean it. Okay. Exactly. Hey, thank you so much thank for you, coming Linda. in. And uh, I hope people take this uh, to heart and listen. And I know that I'm going to go home and look at my, my bag differently. Okay. Maybe do some cleaning up. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. All right. For more information, go to sandiego6.com and click on Hot Topics. We'll be right back.